Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL accounting system training. In today's lesson, I'll talk about supplier debit node. So in SQL, we go to supplier, this is your supplier debit node. When we talk about supplier debit node, the difference between a purchase debit node is purchase will involve stock and quantity, whereas supplier debit node is just directly accounting. So, meaning sometimes they, your supplier have not or forgotten to charge you in the, something in the previous tax invoice, so they can use a debit note to recharge you on top of the tax invoice. But because of GST, so normally people will not use debit note anymore because if you use a debit note, there must be a previous tax invoice have been created and you must put in the tax invoice date tax invoice number and reason when you uh, creating the debit note. So it have the same impact as the tax invoice. So that's why people will tend to direct you, directly use a tax invoice nowadays. So anyway, we just go to debit note and then we click on the new button. So you can see that you can select a supplier, let's say you select Maxis. And here you select a purchase account or any account that you want to use to incur additional charges from supplier to you. So let's see, say we put back as purchase, then just put in the amount. You can change the tax code and things accordingly. You can notice that over here, even though you do the field chooser, you're not able to select discount, you're not able to select quantity of item. Is because all this is done in purchase debit note. So, because supplier debit note is a supplier document, so you need to wait or key in the debit note number according to your supplier debit note he sent to you. Okay, so you save it, it's an internal document, no printout needed, and this is how you create the supplier debit note very easy. So, if you do have time, do drop by at my Facebook is facebook.com slash syntax technologies and you can get all the latest information regarding GST and also SQL accounting software. Or if you want to watch others SQL tutorial video, just go to my website, it's syntech.com.my, then click on YouTube and you can watch all the tutorial video over here. So that's all for today. And once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.